So as you guys have probably discovered, clients can be somewhat of a nightmare. Now, whenever you finish a project and you send it over to the client for revision or approval, there's that lack of communication and effort where you send it to them and they say, I don't have my login credentials or I never got the email or something like that. And the whole process uh, can be really frustrating. But today in this video, I'll give you guys a new web design workflow that'll really help you with your web design process of getting revisions from your clients. Ugh, I hate clients. They make everything really complicated. Whenever they give me images for the website, it's always a hassle and the images always look like crap. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey is apparently a robot web designer from the future that escaped large web hosting corporations because they took over the world. Well, in the future, most of the robots took over the web design job because they're really easy and any idiot can make a website. I mean, I think there's more to web design than that, but uh, well, anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys this new plugin that will really change the web design workflow for your business. So this is really cool. Let's say for example, you just built a website for a client and you wanna send it over for approval. All you need to do here is just give them a link and they can go ahead and leave feedback right here and you'll be automatically notified back in your dashboard. So right now I'm the client and uh, this is a website that I just finished. And here I'm gonna say, you know what? I think you should go ahead and make this text smaller. So make text smaller and then I'll add that comments. And then over here, maybe I'm gonna say, you know what? Can we reduce the background color? You know, reduce background color. Uh, background color to be more lighter. And then I can go ahead and add the comment. So right now uh, I'm basically notifying uh, the web designer of changes that the client wants to make. Now let's say for example, this is just the home page, right? Well, I want to also edit the other pages. So let's say we have the about us page, we have the contact page, or we have any of these other pages, we can go ahead and have access to these other pages. So maybe I'm working on a second website. So it's like, all right, let's go to the other website that Daryl's working on and let's go ahead and see what he's doing. So this is the website that Daryl's making for me or my business as a client. And then as a client, I'm gonna say, you know what, let's just uh, reduce the gradient or take off the gradient. You know, uh, the gradient's too much here. Let's just go ahead and just leave it uh, as a standard black. We'll go ahead and close it. And uh, right here, you know, this girl, I want a, uh, you know, actually that's fine. You know, the, the girl's good. You know, she, she made the cut, <laughs> you know, she made the cut. Uh, right here, we have these uh, pictures, but again, you know, we want to change the gradient color, go away. And then we can go ahead and uh, leave that right there. Now, whenever the client decides to say, you know what, I think you did a great job. Let's just go ahead and approve this contract or approve the, the job. You'll also get notified of approval in your dashboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. All right, so now I am in my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna go over here to Project Huddle. Now, right when I log in right here, you'll see all the changes that the clients want. So we, we know right away that there's work to be done. And also right here, we can click on websites. So these are all the websites that we are currently working on and managing. So for example, if I just want to go ahead and take a look here, I can click on edits and I can see the tasks. We have our pages as well. We can view it and there's also some settings. Now this is more for the internal team. So when you guys are working on the websites, you guys can also give each other notes and you guys can say, you know what, we, we need to go ahead and change this or whatever. Also, if you wanna add new websites, you can go ahead and click on new websites and you can connect to it. Now what's really cool here is that this will automatically connect to your domain. So for example, uh, these are actually on different domains. So you can use this to connect with websites from you know any domain and you can make all the changes you want right here and also add any website you want as well. Now let's say for example, you finish the website and you wanna go ahead and send it to your client for approval. This is called a mockup. Now uh, right here, I'll go ahead and click on new mockup. Now this can be your website. So this would be like, you know, maybe your home about your services and your contact. And all you need to do here is just go ahead and right click and open this. And this is the link that you can give to your clients. And then they can go ahead and make any changes they want, just like I showed you guys earlier. So it's a really awesome web design flow. I mean, it's a really cool workflow. I really do like this. And this plugin was recently acquired by Astra. So you guys probably have heard of Astra. Now, what's also really cool for those of you who are wondering about, well, you know, I don't want people to see Astra. I don't want people to see this company name. We can go ahead and white label it to whatever we want. So here you can see I did my own logo. We have this uh, light logo. So when they're editing the website themselves, you can see that the, on the bottom right here, it shows our logo. So it does have a a white label process and it just looks really, really clean. So I'll go ahead and walk you guys through on how to use this plugin step by step. 
So first, let's talk about the plugin. Now, the plugin's called Project Huddle, or at least the website. It's called projecthuddle.com. Now, this was recently acquired by Astra. So I'm sure you guys probably got notified about that, which is pretty cool. But let's go over here to pricing. Now, they have three different pricing plans. I'll leave a link below to this plugin in the description. I also do have a 10% discount code for everyone, and I'll leave that as well in the description below. They have three different plans, and depending on how large your team is, you'll purchase a plan based off your team size. So uh, this is for one website, and within one website, you can manage multiple websites. Now, if you have a larger team, like maybe five or 10 people, you can go ahead and go with their ultimate plan or the professional where you can install this plugin and it'll work on three websites. All right, so uh, I'll leave a link below to check it out. But before you guys buy it, let's just go ahead and give you guys a brief demo about it and just talk about it and, you know, just see how it is and kind of fart around and you know mess around with it. So uh, first we'll go over here to my dashboard and you guys have noticed uh, right here, Project Huddle, you'll get an overview. Now, remember the change that we made earlier, all those changes will be right here. So you'll see the tasks. You'll see your client saying, oh my God, this looks bad or this looks good, whatever. At least it's here in your dashboard. You don't have to talk to them, <laughs> you know, right? So next we have the activity. We can see what's going on, you know, like who's making changes, what's going on. Also right here, we have our mockups and then we have the websites that we have connected. So you can see all that right here. Also, whenever a website has been approved, you will get notified right here in your dashboard. So it's a really convenient uh, setup they got going on. Now, before we go ahead and add a website, let's just quickly go over here to settings really quick. Now, in the settings part, you can actually white label this plug, which I really do like. So you don't want people to see, you know, Project Huddle, you know, you want them to see your website. So uh, right here, we can add in a logo and also the brand color. So if your agency has this blue brand, you can add it in and it'll appear here and there like the comment or the add a comment button. Also, like the little dash, it'll be blue. So you can go ahead and adjust this to your liking and your websites you'll have a few options you can disable feedback on on you know on this site or you know you can add in a smaller toolbar just some general options that you might want to go through uh, for example you can check this so you'll need to have a approval terms and conditions checkbox because some uh you know some clients are dirt bags and they go well that was never included in the package you know or something like that and you can say no 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 it was <laughs> it's right here in writing so you can go ahead and have them check that also the emails if you want to be notified every time there's something happening you can do that but uh you know that's really up to you i wouldn't have them have the emails a lot because I mean, my email box is full of just spam you know and then also the advanced section here where you can just go ahead and you know debug or whatever and stuff like that so you're probably asking yourself Daryl, what's the first thing i do when i when i you know install this plugin the first thing you need to do is install a website so right here we'll click on websites right and these are where all of the websites will appear now we can click on new websites and we can add a new website so right now we're going to go ahead and connect the websites to another site so we can adjust it and make changes to that website so right here i'll just say this is the new clients website now what's the url well i'm gonna go over here and use this one you know we're gonna go ahead and this is actually a demo domain that I use for web hosting monitors, but I'll go ahead and enter that new domain and click on next. Now I have used this plugin quite a bit before this video, and I found the easiest way was to do it manually because when I tried to connect it automatically, it just didn't work, you know? So that's that. But uh, right here, I'll click on WordPress. Now this is where you can enter in your login credentials or you can connect manually. Now these are the login credentials for this website. So not your website, but the website that you want to uh, make changes on so i'll go ahead and click on edit website here i'll click on try connecting manually and i want to go ahead and copy this code now you're going to go to the website that you want to manage and you're going to install a plugin so right here you'll go to plugins add new and then under search plugins we will type in project huddle project huddle so right now i'm just going to connect these websites together so this is the plugin that you'll need it is called project huddle client sites once you install it you'll then get a new tab so or a new uh, settings option for your plugin so let's go to Impul install plugins and then we'll go over here to settings and this is where you can allow guests to comment um, or if you want only specific people to comment uh, you can do that as well uh, here under the connection uh, i'll go ahead and disconnect this just to show you how this works so right now, you know, your website is not connected and it's really simple. You just have to just copy and paste the code here to connect the website. So I'll go ahead and paste it. 
and save changes. All right, so now you can see that the domain has been connected. So now we can go ahead and adjust things and make changes from our personal dashboard on the other websites. And also they have a white label option. So you can go ahead and change the white labeling option to anything that you'd want. Uh, if you don't want them to see all that. So they do have white labeling options as well, which is really helpful because you don't want them to, you don't want them to know you're using WordPress or whatever. Just, you know, it's like, they don't need to know nothing. Just, just let's keep it under the wraps here. Uh, after I've done that, I will go ahead and say, I have pasted the code. All right, pasted the code. And one thing too, over here under settings, we'll click on save. So now we have went ahead and we saved this website. So it's connected and it's saved, all right? So now let's say, for example, we wanna go ahead and edit it. Now remember, this is for the internal team. So this is for people to work on the project. Now, when you're ready to actually uh, show the website to your clients, we'll get, that, we'll get to that in just a bit. But let's say, for example, you know, you have project members right here, you can add your team. So you can add your designer, you can add your coder or your dev or the awkward devs or whatever. And then you'll go ahead and open this in a new tab. So here we can go ahead and add feedback for the internal team. So they'll say, you know what, uh, let's go ahead and see this really quick. All right, cool. So we have the logo here at the bottom, right? You guys have seen that. And we can go ahead and, and add comments here. So. Let's say for example, you know, we're telling our designer saying, hey bro, this looks bad. And then you can always go ahead and notify specific people, you know, notify specific people that are working on the project, which is really cool. And then also you have other options right here where you can screenshot it and add additional info. And this will all be available in your dashboard for everyone to see. So it's, it's pretty helpful. Um, screenshot. If someone's like, well, you know, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You know, it's like, hey, here's a screenshot. Take a look, you know, so that's also pretty helpful. Uh, but yeah, here I'll add that comments and you can also at people. So let's say for example, you know, you wanna mention somebody, you can do that as well. And this is just the overall process. You do have some other options down here, like the pages. Actually, no, we, wanna, we don't do that just yet. I'll just, uh, here, good work, good work. We like that. We do also have the uh, pages as well, the activity, and then also other comments, okay. So that's also pretty helpful. And the logo stays up there, making it look really professional. Uh, you also do have hide comments, activity, and just some other things right here that you might want to, you know, I think that's actually it right there. But uh, once the changes have been saved, everything's done. So if you go back over here and you check out your tasks, you will then see that all of the notes are here in your dashboard. And if you click on this, it'll actually show you where exactly everything happened. So. You'll be like, okay, good work on what, bro? What are you talking about? Details right here. And then you can go ahead and, and like take a look saying right here, you know, whatever. And then obviously you can screenshot stuff as well just to show them the nitty gritties. But that's just an overall workflow of how everything works. So I do like that a lot. You know, it really makes everything a lot more easier. Uh, you can copy the link and send it to your team as well. And you guys can, you know, work on everything from right here. Now, let's say for example, everything's done, you know, so Everything's done and now we wanna show the client and we want to get the client's approval. Let's do that. So uh, here's the website. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and screenshot this. So this is called Go Full Page. It is a Chrome extension and I think a lot of developers use this. I'll go ahead and screenshot this whole screen. I think this is probably one of the best ways to show your work to your clients without Photoshop. So right here, I'll go ahead and download the image. Now we were in the mode of actually, uh, we, we were actually uh, working on this. So it actually recorded the uh, the thing, you know, the circle thing. So you have to get out of that mode and then screenshot it. Now, once you have this, we can go ahead and add this as a mock-up. Now this is what I believe is probably one of the better ways to do it. So uh, let's go over here to project huddle and mock-ups. So these would be the you know, mock-ups, right? So this can be like website number one. This will be website number two, right? So you might wanna put the home, the about, the services, the contact and everything else. And this will be Daryl's website. Now right here we have add images. So I always recommend to just go ahead and upload the entire sites and it'll look really well with that screen capture. So I'll go ahead and click on this. All right, or the entire image I mean. Because actually when you when you actually uh, share it to be edited, it, it displays it full screen. It works really well with the full screen capture. So here I'll click on select. And this is the website or, you know, website we are working on, right? Whatever. I'll set that and then I'll click on publish. 
All right, and that is pretty cool. Now, project link access. So if you want your client to have access to this project at any time, go ahead and just right click on this and open this in an incognito window. So this is the link that you need to give to your clients that allow them to make changes. Now they don't need any logins. They don't need nothing. I love this. So here we go. So I'm the client and I'm like, all right, let's see what Daryl did to my website. Let's go ahead and click on it right here. And what's cool is that we can also see the notes from the internal team as well. You can turn that on or off. So for example, right here, you'll see that we have some like notes right here. So the client can kind of be in the loop about what's going on. So I really do uh, like that. But let's just say, for example, you know, maybe you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, take this out, take out this little leaf right here. I'll go ahead and click on this and I'll say, take out leaf and then add a comment. Now, right here, your client will be prompted to make a quick account. Now, it doesn't really require anything. They'll just say that this is Daryl or let's see, I can't even spell my name right. Daryl and then Daryl Porto because we need to know that who is asking this, you know, so we do need to have some sort of verification on who they are and I'll click on done. And then I'm basically saying, well, this is Daryl. So that's all we need to do. And we'll go back to our website. We'll be notified that that person made a request. So let's click on this and I will go ahead and uh, update this. Oh, you can always see it right there. Yeah, so take out the leaf. So I really do like this plugin, but I do want to show you guys one small quick feature before I let you guys go, which is file uploads. So you guys might have noticed as well that sometimes when you're working with clients, they need to send you photos and that can be also a huge nightmare. Uh, this plugin actually has the file uploads option in the professional and the ultimate plan. So let's say, for example, we just did that, right? But I'll go ahead and I already installed the plugin. I'll open this in a new incognito window. Let's say, for example, the, you're working with a client and they say, you know what, I, this image is not, is not working for me, man. You know, let's change it. You know, get, here, let me give you a crappy image, you know, which happens, which happens quite often here. So uh, we can go ahead and have file uploads. And uh, this way, it's a lot easier for clients to just upload the images themselves, deal with all the hassle. So right here, I'll just go ahead and say uh, attach a file and then they can go ahead and upload the file and then you'll receive it where you can have it in your media library and so on and so forth. So here I'll put Greg and then dad at AOL.com, whatever. And then we'll go ahead and upload that image. So they're saying, you know, what? I like this image instead. And then, you know, you'll get this image in your uh, account and you'll be notified to use this specific image. So uh, I'll add that comments or here and a lot of comments and that's it. We're done. And if I go and if I go back to my website here, I'll go ahead and close this and I will refresh the page. You will then see that if I uh, go over here and I click on the, uh, if I click on the actual whatever, you do see that I do have this image right here and I can download it and I have access to it. So it's a really cool feature. So I hope you guys enjoy this plugin. Um, I messed around with it for a little bit and I fell in love with it. I think this is a great plugin to use on websites. And I think in the future, I'm gonna follow up and make more videos on this plugin and any other plugins that they create. So my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care. Well, here's another tip. Ask your client for 50% down so you don't get screwed. And if they don't like that, just tell them to go to Wix.com or something.